Hello everyone. Here I am in Adobe InDesign CS5 and I'd like to show you a couple new features mostly around interactivity. Now the first thing you'll see when you look at the new interface is that it looks very much like CS4 but you'll notice over here on my sidebar there are several new things that you may be asking what they are. First off I got the mini bridge that's exactly what it says mini bridge and then down here in this bottom panel I've got these things like buttons and animation and object states what does that all mean? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit about what it means. First thing we're going to do is we create a new document. We'll make it wide format. Now, I've got all these button buttons and stuff down here. They don't do anything yet. So I need to make a button, we'll say. Well, how do I make a button? This is InDesign. Well, you don't make a button in InDesign normally, but you can now. So we'll make this into a button. We'll click the create button and now it has this little overlay that shows that it is in fact a button and over here we also have all of our states so our normal state will give it a color our rollover state will give it a different color and our click state will give it a different color alright so we have this button that doesn't do much and actually doesn't do anything so far as you can tell well, let's make it do something. Let's give this document a background. So we'll draw a box. It's going to be the background for our document. Make sure it's actually in the background so that it doesn't cover this up. Now, we're going to make this into a stated object. This object now has states. Let's call it background. Okay. Now we have these different states of this object so we can change its color depending on the state. Let's not give it that color because that will blend in. We can add another state. We'll give it three states just to keep it even. Alright, now we got three states of this object. Well, it doesn't do anything so we need to make it do something. This button, on its release, we're going to give it an action. Go to next state. Next state of what? background. That's what it's going to do. So now you're looking at this and you're saying, oh, well, this doesn't do anything. Well, it does do something. We have to open up our preview panel here. It's a new edition as well. And we hit play. Oh, now you see that the button actually rolls over. And it changes the background. It cycles through the background colors. That's great. So, now you have this application you want to make it actually do something I'm not gonna save it yet well it right now it only lives inside this little preview panel so you click the buttons it moves but you want to make it live outside the preview panel well we have to export as let's say we export it as an interactive PDF for one include everything Okay, it's going to generate a PDF, and we're also going to export it as a SWIF. Export as a SWIF. I'll save. And here's our little application that it built with all of our rollover states defined. That's cool. Now you can also see an Acrobat. It doesn't do as much as it should, but you wouldn't usually distribute this as a PDF, you distribute it as an application over the internet. Now we can also export it as an FXP and send it to Flash Builder to add code to it. Although if you're designing an application I would highly suggest using Flash Catalyst instead of InDesign because InDesign isn't built to build applications, it is built to build designs and it doesn't have all of the features that Flash Catalyst does in terms of application interface building. That's a short introduction to interactivity and InDesign. I'll make a longer one later, and I will see you all soon.